standing like that, we're getting to the AU national. Seated, a comrade, uh, you are all welcomed to the continuation of the National Conference. I'm emphasizing continuation of the National uh, Conference. Uh, Happy New Year to all of you. Happy anniversary of the ANC. Uh, I'm hoping that, comrade, we're going to have constructive engagements uh, and come up with concrete resolutions of conference. You're all welcome. Relax. Take off your jackets. Those who have coats, take off your coats. Uh, it depends what you have. <laughs> okay. What we should do is to uh, uh, observe a moment of silence for people who lost life in the course of the last year and now, up to now. Let's all stand up and observe a moment of silence. Thank you. Um, we are going to call the president to give us opening remarks, and from there, we'll go straight to the reports of the commissions. We'll take the first seven and open for discussion. We'll receive seven presentations, open for discussion. Uh, Comrade President, May you please uh, give us opening remarks. Thank you. After I speak and we all talk, uh, it is the end of the end.
Thank you, Amanda. Viva ANC, viva. Viva Kosatu, viva. Viva South African Communist Party, viva. Malibongwe. Ika Malamakoskas. Ro, young lions, ro. Forward with the Veterans League, forward. Amanda. National Chairperson, the officials of the African National Congress, former presidents who are participating online in whatever venue they are in, members of the National Executive Committee of the African National Congress, the leadership of our leagues, the ANC Women's League, the ANC Youth League, the ANC Veterans League, the delegates and all comrades gathered in all the nine centers where our conference continues. Happy New Year to all of you. Thank you. And welcome to all of you as delegates to the second part of this conference, the 55th National Conference of our Glorious Movement. We have governed, or rather we have convened this session in a hybrid fashion as we said we would as we were unable to complete the business of conference as scheduled on the 20th of December, 2022. We are gathered, as I said, and as the SG also said earlier, in various venues across the country to receive the reports of the commissions that set during the first part of our conference and also to adopt the draft resolutions that were formulated and in the end to also adopt the conference declaration. This is an important responsibility that we all carry on our shoulders. The decisions that we take today will have far-reaching Im impact on our movement, the African National Congress, and indeed on the country as well. In many ways, they will determine whether our movement is able to overcome the many challenges that confront our own movement and the people of our country. These decisions will also determine whether we are able to reverse the organizational and electoral decline that we identified when we met in December and whether we will emerge stronger, more united, and more effective in meeting the needs of the people of our country. The resolutions that we will adopt today will also have important implications for the direction of the National Democratic Revolution. They will need to accelerate the pace as well as the direction and also deepen the impact of the fundamental social and economic transformation that our people are looking forward to. The people of South Africa are looking to this 55th conference to set out a very clear, credible program on the action that will directly address the crises that confront our country today. So this conference, comrades, needs to send a very clear signal 
to voters in our country that the ANC is taking all the necessary steps to deal with the challenges that they confront, specifically unemployment, poverty, inequality, the rising costs of living, the crime that prevails in our country and the instability, poor service delivery, as well as load shedding that continues to negatively affect the lives of our people. Although we were unable to complete the work of the conference as originally planned, we can count those five days in December as among the most important in the recent history of our movement. During the first part of the 55th conference, delegates demonstrated their unwavering commitment to renew and to rebuild our organization, but also a commitment to rebuild our alliance and the broader democratic movement. Delegates also resolved to eradicate all forms of factionalism and disunity and other negative tendencies within our organization. Delegates to the 55th Conference took a firm stance against corruption within our own ranks in the state and across society as well. While recognizing the great progress that we have made in several areas of development and transformation, delegates acknowledge that the severe challenges that still need to be addressed need the ANC's attention so that we can achieve a better life for all South Africans. Through the deliberations in commissions, delegates made it clear that we need to proceed with greater urgency, but also with greater purpose to address the challenges that confront our people. Where our policies remain relevant and appropriate, we need to be more focused in ensuring their effective and full implementation. Where our policies are inadequate or have shortcomings, we need to do things differently. At the core of the tasks identified by conference in December is the need to restore our relationship as a movement with the people of South Africa. Our duty as the ANC is to mobilize our people, but more importantly, as clearly set out in our constitution, it is to serve the people of South Africa. We have said that we need to earn the position of leader of society through our work amongst our people and also to regain the confidence and the trust of the people of this country. Our duty as the ANC is therefore principally to be a servant of the people. We've also said that we need to acknowledge our weaknesses, but having acknowledged those weaknesses, we therefore need to work towards correcting our weaknesses. That we need to demonstrate humility and honesty and integrity to our people. Our program for this second part of the 55th conference will be intensive. It may be challenging to work across 
10 different centers or nine different centers around the country to bring to a conclusion our conference. But I call upon all of us to exercise the patience as well as the understanding as we seek to interact with each other as delegates on an on online platform and that in itself may give rise to many challenges. This may not be the most ideal way to conclude conference, but we are called upon to exercise discipline and to bring a conclusion to this historic conference. So I therefore say in advance, we are traversing uncharted territory. Let us cooperate with one another and have the necessary patience also with the national chair as he tries the best he can to steer this conference to a conclusion. We will be receiving reports from the various rapporteurs and as we receive those reports, having received the reports I am told in advance, let us plod through them and have meaningful discussions at great depth so that we are able to emerge from this conference having had successful deliberations so that the outcome may be the type of outcome that is befitting the glorious movement that we belong to. So I wish us all great work as we work through. The Secretary General has said we will work through the night and uh, being the Rasmatas that he is, what he promises often does happen. So we are going to have to work through the night. So let us have good deliberations. Amanda. Amanda. Thank you, comrades. Amanda. Uh, normally, this session on the report from commission is chaired by the head of policy. We don't have head of policy now. Uh, therefore, in terms of the powers vested in me, I'm going to delegate that task to Mashobo, Comrade Mashobo, to run through these reports of the commissions. But let me take the opportunity of calling the first uh, report. Comrade, Mag Comrade Makura, come and present the report on strategy and tactics. We listen carefully, we write notes. When we are called upon to comment, we don't go all over. We comment on issues and strengthen issues. Comrade Mashobo, from now on, Comrade David Mashobo, will chair the session. And it's a closed session. Okay, it's a closed session. It's not an open session. <laughs>